Aries. You need to know this right now for February the 7th through February the 8th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 7th through February the 8th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 7th through February the 8th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 7th through February the 8th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. And thank you so much, Aries, for your support. Aries, these are your cards, honey. So... Aries, you have the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone rushing into you or you're rushing into someone. Demanding truth, demanding clarity, speaking your truth, spewing facts with direct, harsh communication. Now, here's where truth comes out. It's swift, it's bitter, it's harsh, it's direct, it's almost confrontational. It's where you can't get a word in edgewise, but it's truth. So Aries, some type of confrontation happening here. Question and answer session. Someone setting the record straight. Someone getting to the bottom of something. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be you passing your own final verdict and judgment over you guys' as a relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Aries, you could be passing your own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or you're dealing with something in legal. Clarify judgment for Aries. Clarify judgment. For Aries, clarify judgment for Aries. It is clarified with the Ace of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is a brand new, passionate, creative endeavor. Now, this can be the spark of a new idea. This can be some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So, brand new, passionate beginnings. So listen, Aries, you can tell me you have the spark of a new idea. Could be initiating something here. This can be passionate communication, romantic passion, or a heated discussion or argument, or starting a passionate new beginning. Now, Aries, listen, you guys very well could have had a passionate, heated discussion or argument because there's a confrontation taking place here. And this confrontation could be taking place because someone wants forgiveness and a second chance for an argument or forgiveness and a second chance by having started a passionate new beginning somewhere else with someone else. Someone may even want forgiveness and a second chance and wanting a passionate new beginning with you, but we have some unanswered questions here. Aries, you have the Page of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is immature, premature communication. But this is also you spying, researching, investigating, looking into someone, looking into someone's social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, riding past someone's home, riding past someone's job, asking a friend of a friend of a friend. This is you doing your due diligence to gather information and research, looking into something. So Aries, you can tell me you guys had some immature, premature communication or you went looking and spying. Clarify the page of swords for Aries. Clarify the page of swords for Aries. Clarify the page of swords for Aries. It is clarified with the three of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is, we are reunited, and it feels so good. Let's go out, eat, drink, and be merry, and celebrate. Celebrate that we're reunited, and it feels so good. But this can also speak to there being a third-party situation going on. 
So Aries, you can tell me you have just cause to celebrate. You can tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Now Aries, listen, you can tell me that you guys are having this preliminary communication about reuniting here. Like I said, there's unanswered questions. You can tell me that you went looking and spying and you discovered that there was a third party or they could have discovered that you had a third party. You could also tell me that you're wanting to check up on things before you reunite with this person to see if there is a third party. Aries, you have the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is you holding back, holding off, keeping something close to your chest. Now, this is also a card of a miser, a penny pincher, someone who's holding back their coins, saving their money, being stingy, someone who's closed off, blocked off, not opening up. So Aries, you can tell me that you're closed off, blocked off, not opening up. You can tell me that you're holding on to your coins, saving your money, being stingy, or you're keeping something close to your chest here. Clarify the four of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the four of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the four of pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the seven of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is you being defensive. You're on the defense. But this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. And this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Aries, you can tell me that your standoff is shunning and setting boundaries with this person. Or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Now Aries, you can tell me that your kind of standoff is shunning, setting boundaries. You're closed off to this person. You're not opening up. Or Aries, maybe you're trying to explain something that you kept close to your chest concerning there being a third party. Did they find out that you had a third party? Hmm. Aries, you have death. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But death symbolizes to end something, only to begin something new. Death symbolizes transformation, rebirth. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. But you can tell me that something is ending here. Something could be starting new after ending or some type of transformation or change. Clarify death for Aries. Clarify death for Aries. Clarify death for Aries. It is clarified with the tower. The tower is Aries and Scorpio's energy. This is something that you don't see coming, something that catches you completely off guard, something that just rocks the foundation of you guys as a relationship. This is a shock in our moment, a moment of revelation. Now, this can be a shocking shakeup or a breakup. So Aries, listen, very well could be a shocking surprise, shocking revelation, something being revealed or a breakup. Clarify the tower for Aries. Clarify the tower for Aries. Clarify the tower for Aries. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager, could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their charts. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the Hierophant. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Aries could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries. Clarify the Hierophant 
for Aries. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries. It is clarified with the Two of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is juggling. And this could be juggling two ideas. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? This can be you managing many things at once, weighing up the pros and the cons, or juggling two relationships. So Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide, should you, shouldn't you? Or you're telling me that juggling has taken place here. Now, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're weighing things up, trying to decide whether or not forgiveness can be on the board here after some type of shocking revelation, some type of shocking shakeup, maybe even an ending, okay? Whether or not you can forgive and start new after this ending. But Aries, you can tell me and you guys has already established commitment. There's been a shocking revelation of someone juggling here, okay? And this may be causing an end to you guys' relationship. Aries, you have the Hierophant again. Like I said, it could be dealing with a Taurus. You guys may be in a commitment. Someone may have commitment on the brain here. This can be about forgiveness. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, religious differences, or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries. It is clarified with the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is news or a message about a solid, stable, committed offer. Now, this can be the news about an offer for an invite out for dinner and a movie. This can be about making things more committed. This can be about a lump sum of money, a job offer, a raise, a promotion, a bonus, a high ticket item purchase, a new home, a new car, a token of love, a gift, anything of value. This is the news or a message of it. So Aries, some type of news about practicality, money, assets, resources, property, accepting a gift, giving a gift, going out on a date, or commitment. Clarify the, okay. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the four of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is the structure, the foundation of a solid, stable, committed relationship. This is leveling up the relationship. This is the marriage ceremony card. Now, we could be speaking of a celebration, a birthday party, anniversary party, baby shower, the home, but this is the marriage ceremony card. So, Aries, this can be about your foundation, your stability. This can be about commitment, marriage, leveling up. This can be a ceremony, celebration, or even property. So Aries, I feel like there's some news about commitment here. Whether or not you guys are going to salvage you guys' commitment after some type of shock and shake up and give forgiveness here. Whether or not you guys are going to end this commitment. Or was commitment already on the table? But we're finding out something here, okay? We're finding out something here and maybe causing some type of hold up with going into commitment. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Aries. Now, this is just additional messages here. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you. And it says, love affair, dirty little secret down low. Love affair, dirty little secret down low. Oh, boy. Someone was juggling in you guys' commitment. What else for Aries? What else? for Aries. And it says, Verge, about to reveal or confess. Verge, about to reveal or confess. This dirty little secret. It's a confrontation taking place here. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. Aries, you need to know this right now for February the 7th through February the 8th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Madge, M-A-J, and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.